YouTube, what's going on, man? Drew back with another NBA 2K22 build video, man. And we're talking 7-3 centers in this one, man. I got three of them for y'all here, man. But before we get into it, man, you already know where we're at, man. It's... All right, in today's video, we're talking 7-3 builds all right i got three of them made here one's pretty balanced one's more of an inside and one's a shooter all right so those looking for a rebirth those looking for a 7-3 big i heard they're very fun to use in the pro am and rec i got y'all man so pull up stay tuned grab your popcorn it's gonna be a good video i'm gonna try to make it as short as possible the builds are already made so we're just gonna touch through um pretty much put my perspective on it let y'all know what i'm thinking and why i did what i did but let's get into it man first one is probably the one i like the most one that i would probably make later down the line when i decide to make my 7-3 build i mean right now i'm not gonna do it because i can't even really play pro am and rec without my console shutting off uh so yeah <laughs> but nonetheless let's get into it man as you can see, your 7-3, we went 239 on the weight. 7-9 wingspan. Why? Because I wanted that 77-3 ball. Like I said, this one's the more balanced of the three. Okay. And as you can see, it is 22, 22, 16, and 36. Okay. All right. Um, obviously, you can do what you want here, but I'm going to touch on why I hit certain things. And I'm going to move these attribute points so you can see where I'm getting badges and why I put them where I put them. All right. So with the finishing, man, very balanced. You're going to be able to finish those close shots with a 91. All right. You get the gold grace under pressure. All right. As you can see, once I take that down, I lose that badge point. So that's why I left it there. Driving layup at a 70 because I wanted the long athlete. All right. You look at my driving dunk, only a 64. A lot of times with these driving bigs, a lot of people don't touch a driving dunk and layup. And to be honest, I don't like that because of the animations you get. You got to stop, make sure, you know, it's a close shot instead of a drive. We're not doing all that. Come on, man. But anyways, we went 64 here. As you can see, if I take that down and put the put this up to a 60, I don't get any badges or anything. Right. So I'm going to leave that there. Obviously, it's 22. Standing dunk, man, we got a 90. That's going to give you that gold posterizer, as you can see. All right. You're going to also get the standing contact dunks with it. All right. We did not touch post control. All right. Like I said, this one's balanced 22 on the shooting. Uh, like I said, 77 because I wanted that catch and shoot. Yeah, I wanted to catch and shoot. You really, really want that for this big to be able to space the floor so it's not congested and cluttered inside the paint. Let your guards, give your guards some space, man. Give your guards some damn space. All right, midi. All right, I wanted that hot zone on gold. If you're cool with silver, so you save a badge point, you can leave it at 82, but I left it at 83 for the build and video purposes and 60 on the free throw. All right, for most of these builds, we're going to have 85 with the passing accuracy. I'm going to touch it now. Not really going to touch it on the other builds, but 85 is going to get you the gold bullet passer. Obviously, you don't really get anything with ball handle and speed with ball. So we didn't touch it, but uh, pretty good passing badges for a big, especially for rec and pro-am. Um, if you're making a 7-3, I wouldn't recommend playing in the park with them. Uh, but 7-3 is definitely belong in the rec and pro-am 5v5. You're gonna have the gold break starter, bullet passer, uh, post playmaker is very, very slept on. That is a very good badge. All right, defense, you got 36, more than enough to do what you gotta do on this one. Uh, you're not as, you're not better than the second one, in my opinion, in terms of defense, but you got everything you need, okay? Interior, I went with a 98 on this. You do not have to go that high. As you can see, I can take it down. I don't lose anything on the badges, but at a 98, you're able to get post move lockdown on Hall of Fame for only five badge points, as well as brick wall. As you can see, you can take it down. Now it's six at a 97. You lose it at a Hall of Fame at 96, but you still have brick wall. Uh, a lot of people don't use post move lock, but um on a 7-3 big it is good to have and brick wall is probably the more used badge on these big centers uh so if you just want brick wall hall of fame 97 will be the hot spot because as you can see it only brick walls brick wall only costs 
five badge points versus six at a 95 or 96. So for the video purposes, I went with the 98. Perimeter defense, I went with the 50, didn't max it out. You're not really getting much more for maxing it out. You do get the hustler here. On these seven foot bigs, man, you don't get a lot of perimeter defense. So a lot of people don't touch it, but when it comes to those right stick contests on the perimeter, it may help to touch it. So that's what I'm thinking here on this build. Like I said, you do get hustler. Granted, it's a badge you probably won't use on a big, but it's a decent badge if you have the extra badge points to use it. Still, we went with a 56, uh, enough to just get you bronze interceptor and pickpocket. I believe you need a 60 to get silver interceptor, but we don't get that on this build. 98 on the block, all right? 98 because rim protector. Rim protector is Hall of Fame. Add a 97, but a 98, it'll only cost five badge points versus six, okay? So in these builds, as you can see, I will be talking about how you can save a badge point or two or use that badge point towards other things, all right? A lot of people see, oh, all right, I got it right here at a at a 30, at a 96, and I got 36 uh, defensive badges, but I'm going to be using an extra badge on this rim protector if I leave it here. Might as well bump it up to a 98. You don't get anything extra for having it at a 99. So you might as well save that one as well. All right. And on the 7.3, this is the one that does not have a 99 rebound. Um, just because I wanted it to be balanced. I think a 94 is good enough. You still do have gold rebound chaser. Look, I've been seeing a lot of 7 foot 7.3 builds without a 91 defensive rebound, which means you don't get gold rebound chaser. If you're making a seven foot, if you're making any center, you don't have rebound chase or gold. What are you doing, my guy? <laughs> what are you doing? That should be a no, no. All right. There goes the defense on the physicals, man. As you can see, we got a 60 on here. We maxed out the acceleration. Uh, strength's decent out of 72 with the vert. You got the 65, so you'll be able to get some of those contact dunk animation with a 93. Uh, in terms of takeovers, you only get these two, which kind of suck. But like I said, I like the 73 a lot. It's one that I'm thinking about making, given, you know, Xbox and Microsoft 2K. Yeah, figure out a way to stop these games from shutting my console off and all that good stuff. But anyways, like you see, you got a two-way stretch glass cleaner in this one. On to the next build. All right, this one's more of a back to basket big. Um, you'll see what I did here. 10 pounds heavier on this one. So at 249 and we maxed out the wingspan, I believe at 8.1. All right. The difference is here. Okay. Like I said, this is more of a back to the basket big. Unfortunately, I could not put any three ball on this one. Uh, if you want him to be a legit inside big, by all means, take this mid range down completely. But my thought process is like, it's 2K. You gotta be able to stretch the floor out in some means and some capacity. Being a big center and clogging up the paint does not help at all when you're playing rec and park. So a 78 mid range with 10 shooting badges should be able, should be enough to be able to hit down those mid ranges off the pick and pop scenario, or even sitting in that short porch, you know, that short corner, you know, just to knock down that baseline jumper. All right. Finishing, as you can see, is 28. Like I said, if you want more, just take down that mid range. Uh, I don't think you need more than this. Like I said, a lot of people don't like to touch the drive and lay up and drive and dunk on these seven, three bigs, but the animations you get are so wacky, man. We need, we not doing that. As you can see here, I only put at 60 drive and layup and a 64 drive and dunk um, only because you don't get any extra badges maxing these things out. Uh, you do not get the 70 drive and layup on this build, I believe. Let me try it out real quick for you. Yeah. So like I said, you don't get anything for putting these things up. So I decided not to. Um, only thing you difference here is you might get a silver teardropper. Uh, you're probably not even using teardropper. And at this point, I'd rather the 99 close shot. 99 close shot, I think, is very slept on. You get the Hall of Fame grace under pressure on this one. All right. So the midi, you have a 78. You'll be able to stretch the floor a little bit. All right. Hit those little mid-range jumpers on the pick and pop and whatnot. All right. You got the post control. So you got all the you got all the inside badges that you really need on this big. Uh, it's not an excessive uh, 
total badge count but like i said if you want more just take down that mid-range jump shot or the passing like i said passing similar on all these builds you got the 85 across the board It'll get you exactly what you need all right interior defense we got a 97 um defensively and physically all these seven threes are similar to some extent all right as you can see with the interior defense like i said this one will get you that post lockdown on hall of fame but it's six instead of five on that last build i had it was five only because i had it at a 98 all right if that's something that you're gonna use or utilize think about it and definitely do that this one we max out the perimeter and the steel this one gets that interceptor at silver which is pretty good but it does not get the hustler at gold um like i said a lot of people don't like to even use this but your right stick contest is non-existent on guards when you do that um at least you have something <laughs> something i guess better than nothing all right this one you got the 99 defense rebound for that hall of fame rebound chaser uh and the 94 obviously that a compliment you know the standing dunk and the close shot uh standing dunk in this game is something i'm not entirely in love with for some reason i got a seven foot big uh with a 90 standing dunk and the animations just aren't the greatest all right i've been messing around with those trying to see which ones are the better ones i get blocked a lot and i don't like that but like i said that close shot should definitely help you a lot on this build physicals um similar you're gonna pretty much max all these guys out you got an 80 on this one so you're pretty stronger on this build than you are with the other one vertical only at a 61 compared to the 65 on the other one and we finished out with a 90 on the stamina all right um takeovers for this one you get post as well to add with the rim protector and rebound all right you got a first tile paint piece and on to the third and final build which is the shooter all right in this one i prioritize shooting all right how do i make a 7-3 build with the best shooting possible all right um 245 on the weight for this one why because i wanted to get gold rebound chaser with that 91 defense rebound you had to go shorter on the wingspan 74 is the lowest i wanted to go i didn't want to go short short i think you can squeeze out an 83 uh three ball but no real difference uh you still get limitless gold spot up at an 82 so i left it here um do i think you need an 82 three ball to be able to knock down the three ball no i do not but like i said for the video purposes i wanted to make a build that was more of a shooter than typically um yeah so as you can see the badge count this is probably my least favorite of the three builds i showed you it's only at a 19 27 17 and 34 obviously you can mess around with it and see what you can do but i don't think you're gonna really get anything much better than this unless you want more finishing but this is a shooter of the three okay so we got an 86 close shot so that's good enough obviously you get that gold grace under pressure similar with the driving layup and driving dunk as the other builds could max it out but you don't really get much for it um i ain't lying to you as you can see and you don't get that 70 so in my opinion it wasn't worth it i just stayed right here as you can see you don't really get much for it I figured you could get more badges this way all right standing dunk i only went 88 on this one why because he's more a shooter than anything um you take that any down you're gonna lose a badge i didn't touch post control you do not get the gold posterizer because you don't get the 90 standing dunk on this one obviously if you want it you can take something else down switch it up shooting like i said i want to maximize that the 88 will get you that gold blinders all right and the 82 three-point shot gets that limitless spot up on gold so you'll be able to stretch the floor as good as anybody as well as shoot gold bl having gold blinders on a 7-3 that might be cheese i don't know someone make this build and let me know how it goes let me know before i make mine <laughs> all right like i said passing pretty uh straightforward top two would it do my guy anyways passing accuracy 85 like i said we did with all of them this one i touched ball control why because we're able to get over 50 which gets you that 
bronze glue hands as well as bronze unpluckable so on a build that will be more on the perimeter because he is a shooter at 7-3 you have something to be able to help you in terms of handling the ball a little better than you typically would all right for the defense all right this is probably the weakest out of the three most most definitely because you're more of an offensive shooter all right you still got the 95 uh interior defense for that brick wall hall of fame but it will cost you six badge points instead of five all right you still get hustler on gold because you got the perimeter defense out of 50 still is going to be out of 52 you max that out you're not really going to get anything else for it you only have interceptor on this build all right on bronze no pickpocket block out of 98 all right reason being rim protector is cheaper can leave it at a 97 for that rim protector hall of fame but i think it's worth it saving that badge point using it elsewhere um if you see me take that down max out the still you do not get pickpocket by the way so i ain't lying to y'all man this is the best way how to make these builds all right defensive rebound at a 91 offensive board at a 90 you get that gold rim protector all right you're seven three that should be good enough to be able to snag consistently all right just bo box your man out man that's your problem y'all don't like to put your body on another man and box him out all right box your man out you should be able to rebound with no issues all right speed you dirt slow like every one of these other seven three builds out here at a 58 on this one max out your acceleration strength sitting decent under 75 63 on the vertical so we max that out you do not get the 65 63 on the vertical we max that out and 90 on the stamina all right takeover you get the shooting takeover on this one obviously you're a shooter shooter as well as you know the defensive necessities that you need you are that 73 big and there you go this one's also two-way stretch glass cleaner all right, so those are my three seven foot three builds to consider, man. If y'all looking to make one of those, like I said on that second one, if you do not want to be able to shoot that midi, take that all the way down and just add it to your finishing. And yeah, let me know, man. In the future, I definitely look forward to making one of these three, more than likely the first one. See how that goes. I heard the 70 builds are running crazy out here in the wreck and they're fun to use man so if any of y'all got one let me know in the comments how that's going let me know what y'all badge count is and how it's looking for y'all man in the description below there's links to the socials all that good stuff do me a solid like the video hit that thumbs up button hit the subscribe button all that good stuff man yo you know how we coming we coming different we coming crazy nba 2k22 man let's get it have a blessed one drew out love